Hello and welcome back to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today is a Patreon request from Steven who wants to see how to do a simple coin pickup system, but also wants to know if objects or gimmick tiles are better for performance. And so with that said, let's get started. All right, so here we are in my coin pickup sample project. You can get this on my samples pack three on my itch page. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you coins as objects example and a coin as tile, as a gimmick tile sample. And you're gonna be able to test them here. And it's going to be giving sounds and all the stuff so that you can see that you can do both. But um, you can see that the coins are going up as you collect them. And yeah, so you would have this obviously coin HUD somewhere else. But for this sample, this works. And then you can see that if we right click, go to start on the tiles here, that it does the same thing. And we can just move around and pick up these coins. Now there are going to be some caveats using the gimmick system that there's just not as accurate of detection. And also I'm not convinced that it is the most performant way. And I'll show you here in a minute, but first let's go over the system in general, how we set these both up. All right. So first let's take a look at the object. So if we go to the coin object here, we have a simple weight and then we have a distance to other object link. And that is what we're checking for. If it's within 24 pixels, less than the player. All right. So, and then it's obviously going to get picked up. It's going to add to our common variable coins. This is just all simple object. It's going to destroy. And we're, we do want that ahead of there, obviously, but, um, yeah, that's how it's going to pick that up. Now we do want to do keep in mind that this distance from other object check, it is checking from the middle of this blue image sprite cell. All right. So if you have a big long one and then your character is little tiny down at the floor, it's going to be going off the middle of that big cell. So just keep that in mind. You might have to use field of vision. That's the most accurate detection you're, you're gonna be able to get. But that is simply how you do the coin system for the object. Now let's go to the tiles, okay? So first off, you have to have the tile set and then you're going to have to make it a gimmick. So when you add a tile, whoops, that's a folder. When you add a tile here, you can set it as a gimmick tile and that is gonna give you the extra functionality. All right, so I've already set this one up. And then you just click on this right here and you'll have the same options as a normal tile, but now you'll have this gimmick settings pop up right here as well. So now what you can do is when tile overlaps the, or when object overlaps this tile, that is what's going to trigger. So this is the, this is the trigger basically for this. And I've only selected the player group can trigger it. That makes sense. You don't want enemies picking up your coins. And what we're going to do is this is what's going to change. So this is everything that's going to change. First thing we're going to do is we're going to change the tile and then I simply just selected the one right next to it, the blank one that does nothing. We're going to play a sound effect, the same sound effect that we're playing the object. And then we're going to change the switch. We're going to add one to the coin. Now this sounds really good, but let's first see what object overlap tile means. The object overlap is going to be based off this center, this little red dot right here. So not the, not where the red lines intersect. This center right here is a setting that's actually per frame. So if you wanted to change all frames, you'd have to click one and shift copy it right there. And then you move it like this. So for instance, if I have, let's, let's, uh, I set up this running example with it. So see how I have the red, this red, uh, center on the top left corner. Now let's go to our player here and let's set him up to running only running. So it'll always be there and you'll see what happens with this system. All right, so we're going to be running and notice that we cannot collect that carrot. Now remember the center is about right here. So once I get into that area, it's going to collect it. So you have to make sure that your center is exactly where you want it to be. And if you have a big sprite, it might not work because it might be too big. So you can see that there might be detection issues using this method. So let's change everything back to weight move and jump here. Yeah. And then I know I said it wrong for this one, but, or actually I could, I just remember what it was 40. All right, there we go. So yeah, you're going to want the center. And honestly, even this is bad for this. I would have the center in the center of the character. So if you're using the gimmick system, you're just going to have to to do that. That's just how it's going to have to work. That's your only options for it. So, now let's go to performance because that's the next question. All right, so let's go to tiles here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this so we can see real good. I'm going to hit F1, go to debug and click show simple draw load. Okay, so that doesn't really show as well as I thought it would for you guys. But um, all right, so you can see down here, the verts is 39.84 and we have GL calls of seven. All right, 
So just look at, remember these numbers as I go about collecting these coins. Okay, you can see that nothing changes. It's 339.84 and nothing changes. I've collected them all and it actually went up, all right? So if I reset it, you'll see that it started. Oh, there we go, now I can see. It started uh, six less and then it went up once I collected them all, all right? So now let's go to the objects one and let's see what it does. So F1 debug, show simple draw load. So the verts is 339.66, so already it's less. And the GL calls are seven. And But let's see what ha happens as we pick them up. So the verts are getting lower and lower. And then when we pick up the last one, we actually lose the GL call completely. And so we end up having a smoother scene for not so much different cost. And I tried duplicating these 10 and seeing if it increased it anymore. And while it did increase, it didn't, it, it, the object one never increased over the, the tile one. Now, I know that objects, if they're very intense as far as link conditions go, so if I had like five links trying to leave this thing, or if I had even an object with, you know, three or four actions just to like show off something really, really cool or something, that might make a difference because logic does tie into object performance. But a simple object like this, in my opinion, from what I see, and I'm not a performance expert as far as like the switch goes and stuff like this, but um, as far as I'm looking at the option that we have, which is the, the draws and the GL calls, I'm seeing that objects are actually the better option for a coin pickup situation. So take that for what it is. But anyway, yeah, the sample project's available. Hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, comments below, Steam Forms Discord. We'll get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.